Today we are going to show you how to import a holder into the holder library from a DXF file. Let's get started by opening the DXF file we received from the holder manufacturer. From the WorkNC launcher, click on Open Drawing. WorkNC will open with the Open File menu active. Select our DXF file and click Open. DXF files often have fonts that need to be mapped for WorkNC. Don't worry, this is a very easy process. The font mapping menu will appear. Just click OK. DXF files also contain blocks. WorkNC converts those blocks to symbols. On the Connect Block to Symbol File menu, just click OK. Click OK on the Create Symbol Library file. You might get a warning that the symbol already exists. That's fine. Just click OK. The DXF file import works best when working in metric. Don't worry if you use inch units. Your finished product will still be in inch. To convert the file to metric, click on File, Current Unit, then select Metric and click OK. Now we need to clean up the drawing to eliminate the data we don't need. We only need a silhouette of half the holder, so we can delete any text, dimensions, and unnecessary lines. All of the detail lines here in the middle should be removed. After we have removed the extra lines, we need to trim any overlapping lines. No lines should overlap each other or cross over center line of the holder. Let's use the Smart Delete command to trim the long lines. After we have trimmed the long lines, we can right click and delete the center line. We don't need it anymore. The holder silhouette must be continuous with no overlaps or gaps in the line. Here we have a gap in the silhouette. If we left this gap, we would get an error like the one shown here when we try to import the DXF file into the holder library. Let's fix this gap. We will start by setting a new color for a line. I like to use white so it stands out, but you can use any color you want. Select the line command and using the end O snap, fill the gap. Continue inspecting the silhouette and fix any gaps or overlaps you might find.
The silhouette cannot contain any nerves, curves, or splines. It must only be lines or arcs. We will use the convert into arcs lines command to make sure there aren't any splines. Activate the command and box around the part. If there are any NURBS curves, they will be shown in magenta. Right click to convert the curves into arcs and lines. Now we will use the transform move translate command to move the silhouette to 000. zero, zero. Select the top center line of the holder as the base point and enter 000 in the text entry field for the second point of displacement. Remember, a comma is short for 000. Now that we have the top center line of the holder silhouette at 0, we need to rotate it so that the Z of the holder runs in X of CAD. Using the Transform Move 2D Rotate command, we will box the silhouette and select 000 for our rotation center. Enter 90 degrees for the angle of rotation and hit enter. The next step is to set up the layers in the BMG layer format standard. The BMG layer format applies to holders and tools. All non-cutting segments must be on a layer named No Cut. If we were working with a cutting tool, the cutting portion of the tool would be on a layer named Cut. We will rename our working layer to No Cut. After renaming the layer, we will move the silhouette to the No Cut layer. Now, we will clean up the file by removing any empty layers. The silhouette is now clean, in the correct orientation, and follows the BMG layer format. Now we can save the file as DXF. Click on File, Save As. Use the List Files of Type pull-down to select DXF, either R11 or R13. Both will work. Give the file a new name and click OK. Minimize Work NC and use the launcher to open the holder library. In the holder library, use File, Import to select the clean DXF file you just made and click Open. Your holder DXF file is now imported and saved in the WorkNC holder library. As always, we hope you found this tech tip helpful and would like to encourage you to explore all the available WorkNC tech tips.